guys have already shown yourselves to be fairly sophisticated. You're very aware of some of the chief issues this country faces. What was the first issue we heard? Gas prices go down. What's the second issue we heard? Taxes go down. What was the third issue you heard? Want more legislation about schooling. What's the fourth issue you heard? More jobs. Jobs to go up. Now, here's a little secret about leadership. Leaders are people who have to make tough choices. Already in this room, we've seen that a lot of people have a lot of different opinions. But the main thing a leader does, that leader, he or she takes all of these different issues and they have to make tough decisions. You know what it's like to take, make a tough decision? How many of you have made a tough decision in your life? A decision that's really hard. You know, maybe, you know, you had to make a decision. Usually when you make a tough decision, what happens? You're pleasing some people, but you're disappointing or hurting other people. Not because you're a mean person, not because you want to hurt them, but tough decisions sometimes hurt other people. <coughs> Leaders have to be the kind of person who can make tough decisions. So we've got to make a tough decision right here, right now. We've got to make a decision of what the number one goal is. Our number one priority, our number one issue would be, we just heard four issues. How many of you think, how many of you think that lower gas prices, the four things you heard, lower gas prices would be the most important? How many of you? Okay, I'd say about 10 of you. Uh, how many of you think lower taxes is the most important issue? more. Hands high. Hands high. Be bold. You're making a decision right now. Okay. A few more of you. How many of you think more attention to our schools is um, the most important issue of the board? Well, we're kind of in a tug. Maybe a few more. Okay. How many now more jobs? How many of you? Oh, okay. You guys then have set a priority. Now listen, you've already made two decisions. Two decisions. As a group, you've decided that Barack Obama should be the next president of the United States. 44th president of the United States. And as a group, you've decided what issue is going to be the most important? Jobs. More jobs. Most of you raised your hands by getting more jobs, right? Okay, now this is very interesting. You have already made that decision. Now, you are citizens of the United States. This country is different because we the people have the power. So my question to you is, how do you get your, the impact of your decisions to the president? How do you contact the president and let the president know? What do you do? Go out to vote? That's the first thing. Absolutely. Who said that? People, that's absolutely right. And the first thing you can do is go out and vote as soon as you turn 18. Don't ever miss an election. That's extremely important. Because then you're telling people in this country what you want to have happen. And that gives you a chance, if you don't like the way something is going, you've earned the right to criticize the way things are going because you went out to try to change things. Okay, voting. What's the second way you can make your thoughts known to the President of the United States? Send you write a letter. Boy, okay, we've got somebody who's, who's really got a lot of knowledge about this. Writing a letter is very important, and it's something that all of you can do. And you know what? An office is set up. It's in the West Wing of the White House. An office is set up where people actually do read the letters that come in. And you know what? If you write a letter to the President of the United States, I bet you you get an answer. Just think of that. Has anybody here ever gotten a letter from the President of the United States? Uh, have you gotten a letter? Have you? You have? That is really cool. Which President has written you a letter? George Bush has written you a letter. Very good. Well, you know what? They have an office that helps them write letters to people so that your voice would be heard that way. Now we had a young lady back here at a third recognition. Tell us another way that you can get 
your thoughts to the President of the United States? Somebody else? How about on this side of the room? Yes. What's that? Call him. Yes, you could. You could call him also. If you call up information on your phone and you ask for the White House to be dialed in 202 area code, the number is 202 456 5500. It is a regular phone number. You can call in to the White House switchboard. It's an amazing thing. And that's another way that your voice would be heard. Absolutely. It would be another way that you could make your thoughts known. Yes, please. What's that? Newspaper. How in the newspaper? What would you do with the newspaper? You could write some kind of piece that the newspaper would publish that would also express your opinion of what you think needs to happen. What a cool thing that is, because not only not only does the president, but if you're writing your local newspaper, your brother, your sister, your neighbors, a mom, dad, all kinds of people, people maybe at church or if you're Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, all kinds of people would be able to read that letter. And you would get uh, sort of interesting comments that, you know, the next time you saw that person, they'd say, wow, it was really cool that you wrote a letter. I didn't know you thought that, or I didn't know that you uh, were able to, to write so well, or whatever it is, the teacher might see it and say, wow, uh, I'm going to uh, give you a better grade in English because of that. It happens. I encourage people to write. Okay, that's a, that's a very good way to reach uh, the president and let him know how you feel. We have another thought back here. Send him a video? Send him a video? Yeah, you guys, you guys are sort of the kids of another generation. You guys know how to do things like that that my generation would probably be a little less eager to do. You could send a video. And, and you know what? The video would be watched too, and you would probably get a letter in response for that. Uh, yes. You can send an email, absolutely, to the White House. It's, it's uh, whitehouse.gov, whitehouse.gov. Uh, okay, another way, yes. Is that your hand up over here? Right there, your hand's up. How's another way? Oh, okay. What's another way that you could reach the president? Uh, yes. Pardon me? You could, that's right, you could get on TV and, and be a, maybe somebody who is interviewed on TV, and that would be a way to get out to the community, absolutely. 